I still think the DLC is a 10. I think the DLC is amazing. It's great. But for me, it's so hard that it's not fun. Does that make sense? Like, I think- That is how a, uh, a lot of people are feeling. That is how a lot of people are feeling right now about the whole Elden Ring thing. In fact, it went to 64, 61% mixed reviews now because people are not having a lot of fun. And he goes more into detail about this. And, um, yeah. I think it's a 10 out of 10 game. It's amazing. But, like, whenever the difficulty level is so high that I basically have to perform a choreographed dance to the no, point she where didn't. I she cannot never admitted make a mistake it, Ronan. or I will die, I no. am no longer enjoying myself. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm just basically behaving and playing like a bot. That's the way that I feel. Yeah. Now, obviously, other people might feel differently. Hi! And that's why I'm not saying the game's bad. Hello, kidding. But that's the way that I feel. I don't have fun doing That's that. why summons are there, bruh. Playing playing games like Yeah. That. Like, yeah, it's just I it, mean, it's his not opinion is valid though. And the opinion of everybody else who has been giving it a max review, a mixed review, are their valid opinions. That's the way that I feel. Uh, there's an RPG aspect that comes in. It 100% gets easier with leveling and good builds. Um, yeah, maybe it does. I'm not really sure. But that's why I must develop a Souls game like Mental. I, I mean, I, I don't know if it's if it's obvious or not, but uh, I have a very bad Mental. I I, I do. I I'm I tilt way too easily. I I can't deal I can't deal with like any stress or frustration at all. Right. Like, if you go back to my Dark Souls 1 streams, I immediately lose my cool. I will get mad so, in, like, a fraction of a... Asmin is one of those guys that gets super... He's talking about it right now. Uh, I was actually on, in this stream when he was doing all this. There is probably literally nothing I haven't seen of Asmin. I just want to point that out there. I am usually in his stream. When I end my stream, I watch it. So I watch this unfolding live. And um, a second, you could probably even see me right here on the bottom right where I'm standing over. You can see me chatting. And I can't get unmad. And you can see if you watch the VODs, you will see the moment where I get frustrated and I never emotionally recover from that <laughs> for the entire rest of the stream. I never do. Because I, I can't keep Is my the cool. DLC hard to the point where it. you have and to min-max? I've been max? like this even whenever... Um, the DLC uh, apparently is really hard for a lot of people. Now, before people start acting, um, oh my god, the DLC is so easy. Oh my god, this, this, and that. I mean, hey, there's a lot of people that are saying that. A lot of people. It ain't just Asmin. It ain't just some reviewer. It is a lot of people. Whenever I was a little kid, um, I, I think that it's just gotten worse, to be honest. Uh, what ends up happening with me is that... Like, and, and, and I think that this, like, streaming definitely makes it, like, way worse, right? Because it's like, I, I, I play the game, and I struggle at the game, and everybody says that I'm a piece of shit, right? So it's like, it's almost like I can't lose because everybody is waiting to like hate me for losing. I, I like this next part because forgive, forget the fact that um, eldering is hard or not hard. This next part is really w the, the thing that I guess I want to talk about. And like, it's that being a streamer and then streaming these type of games. It does, it makes it very unenjoyable. I feel like I can't learn Hello, games on physics. stream. Because people are constantly calling me stupid or trying to, like, give me bad information or insulting me. And to be honest, I don't like dealing with that. I hate that. I don't like being insulted or berated or people being rude to me or anything like that. And so if that happens to me and, and I, I'm like, I ask myself, it, it, it does genuinely bother me. I really don't like it. And because of that. 
I, I can't really deal with that level of like frustration at all. I, I, I can't deal with it. I, I can't. And I, I've I've tried for years. And I've made I've made negative progress, to be honest with you. Is being your head against the wall with jumping attack because I get frustrated. So, so the thing, uh, he banned 200 people yesterday. He had, he's probably banned like 500 people since he started playing Elden Ring. The thing is, is that that doesn't, that's only going to fix it for a little while. Somebody's going to create another account because they feel um, like they're, uh, it's their job to go to his chat and type that he is a bald loser that is shit at the game. I'm going to be honest, 90 Nine percent of you guys in my chat would not be able to be a streamer and have twenty thousand people look at you, and then have around ten thousand people slide their fingers on their keyboard to tell him how bad and shit he is, right? So, like a lot of you guys wouldn't even be able to do this. On top of having to stream a game that is difficult already, and then having to deal with the negativity of like that comes on the from the chatting from streaming that shit is crazy that is on another level of stress dude having people telling you hey jump this attack hey why did you do that hey stop being stupid hey dodge this hey do this parry hey why don't you just get another type of weapon hey why don't you do this hey how about you play the game the way i want you to play the game instead of the way you want to play the game there's just way too much. Too much stuff from people. I have social anxiety on the street. I would never be able to stream. Yeah, it is. It's tough, man. I think 99% of uh, the people that type in chats can't even do it themselves. I mean, this is a great, a great opportunity. You know, you get to do one, one thing that you love already, which is play video games. We love, we're gamers. We get to play video games and then we get to get paid for playing video games. But I'm going to be honest, as I become a streamer, I sacrifice my enjoyment of video games for you guys. Often enough, I play games that I don't even want to. Like giving a Lost Ark a second try, a third try was because of you guys. I didn't really want to. I didn't want to. The reason I saw, uh, I played Elden Ring was because of you guys. You guys, oh, have you tried Elden Ring? Have you tried Elden Ring? Blah, 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 Elden Ring. D don't get me wrong. I did have fun, and I'm not trying to put all the blame on you. Don't feel like I'm doing that. But my enjoyment of video games has definitely been uh, different since I started streaming. It's more for chat than it is for me. That's why games like Prince of Persia that I played off stream. That game was probably the most fun I've had in a game in a very long time because that was my game. I didn't stream it. I didn't get it ruined by my chat. I didn't get people telling me, Ali, you should do this. Ali, you should. I played it on my own because, and it was much funner that way. And it's not your fault. I'm not blaming my chat at all. I'm not blaming my chat at all. I know that I could play games for myself so it's not my chat's fault it's my fault but it comes with the territory ellie this might be uh not be an excuse and sorry if it sounds ignorant but not all games is for everyone no hate on asmin but maybe it's not for him if it makes him angry um i think asmin is just a person that gets angry pretty easy and i mean he talks about this like i said i watch him all the time so i really can I can speak to this because I know what he what he goes through. He gets mad in World of Warcraft. He he's just a guy who gets pretty angry easily. Um and it doesn't help that you're running a community with hate watchers, people who just create new accounts or people that finally get the courage to type something like, "Hey, you're stupid, you're a piece of shit, and you suck." You know? He gets an incredible amount of hate watchers, and that is so hard to deal with. Um, it's not an easy position to be. Uh, it's not in an easy position to be in for him. Uh, he is a person that just gets angry pretty easily. So having a game like Elden Ring that honestly has some of the worst fucking community members ever. If you go to the Elden Ring 
category the amount of fucking backseater bitches who think they're better at gaming is fucking astronomical the fucking weird cesspool of Elden Ring fans are fucking crazy dude I have never, even worse than fucking gotcha games. Gotcha bitches are probably picking f uh, fucking flowers in the open. And maybe they talk about how much they love their fucking parasocial waifu that's coming in like a month. That's as far as they go. But like the Elden Ring fucking freaks, there are a different type of freak, dude. They're always talking about, oh, my game is perfect. Oh, oh, I can overlook a, a bad camera. Oh my God, the game is not that difficult. Oh my God, it's just because you don't know how to tech roll this out of this and this. It's so fucking weird. They get a high just because they over leveled the boss and beat it. Ellie, but don't you think the game shouldn't be reviewed down just because it is hard? So games were always hard before it hit mainstream. I think that there is a level of balance and fair. And I think if most people are not having fun because it is very punishing, that is not fun for a video game. It might be fun for a selective people, for a handful of people, but that doesn't mean that games should be that way. Um. Stop talking about a manga's guy. Hello. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Mike, for the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, well, true, but it's uh, nature of those games. Uh, doesn't make it better, though. It doesn't justify them being um, difficult. Here's my take on the whole difficulty side. I'm a person who likes really hard games. I, w I personally would not review bomb any game. Giving a review to me is too, I'm too lazy for it. I have never given a review. I will never give a review. But if I'm speaking candidly and open, there's a level of difficulty that I can appreciate in a game. But then there is very, very punishing difficulty that I think makes the game, it could make the game very unenjoyable for people. So just because there are people who find the games too difficult, um, number one, it doesn't mean that they're not, um, that they're not great games. You know, I can acknowledge that Elden Ring is a beautifully developed game. It has great voice acting, 1010 voice acting, sound design, 1010 world design 1010 probably lore and story i don't know but i'm gonna guess that it's fucking 1010 everything around Elden ring is a pr it's a pretty good game it's a 1010 um except the camera and if you fucking freaks try to defend that fuck you fuck your mother fuck your father the camera in Elden ring is really fucking dog shit has been dog shit it looks really cinematic but it's not practical and if you don't have a problem with the camera you're fucking weird the camera is dog shit you cannot defend that um aside from that you're fighting a boss that is extremely punishing where if you want to retreat a little bit and take a heal yourself there's only like a fraction of seconds where you can take that to implement a heal or something like that or to think about the next your next action is so small a tight little window and that's okay for games to be difficult but i think there has to be a bit of give or take if the monster takes away like um if you take away like a sliver of health from the monster but the monster one shots you i think that is unfair I think that's unfair. It's just stupid. It doesn't really make the game a lot fun for the masses. Maybe there are some people who are very uh, love punishing um, mechanics and that's good for them. But I also don't think that that is what game develop games should be all about. You should try to incorporate, again, uh, options. I'm all about options. If they have a difficulty slider and stuff, you should be able to, in any game, choose what difficulty you want to play the game around. Some people don't want to spend five hours, 10 hours in one single boss encounter. That just is not fun for a lot of people. It's fun for some, but uh, again, obviously for a lot of people it isn't that fun um so 
all in all, it doesn't make Elden Ring a shit game because again, it has a lot of good elements. I myself wouldn't give um, the difficulty of Elden Ring like a hard review. But I also know when I want to continue playing and when I don't. And that's why I'm not playing Elden Ring today or tomorrow. Because I just don't really feel like bashing my head against a boss for like five hours. Um, I value other things in my stream and in my entertainment than doing that. That for fun for me right now, right now, is not at the top of entertaining things to do. I'd rather sit and talk with my chat. Um, or I'd rather do farming echoes that is brain dead in withering waves. Um, I don't really all the time want to focus on a boss. You know, I don't want to have to do that all the time. It stops being, it stops being a game and more of a job. When a game starts feeling like a job, that is no longer, in my opinion, worth it. So BDO, well, for some of you freaks who log in 24 seven, yeah, you have a mental problem. You need to check yourself a hundred percent. And I've always said this, MMOs are the most vicious drugs you can take. And if you guys feel like BDO is that thing for you, you need to check yourself because no game should ever feel like it's something you need to do. Um, I think every game can feel like a job. It depends on the player. So no Dave, uh, the di diver for you then. For some people, I mean, if it doesn't feel like a job for you, then that's fucking awesome. But yeah, that's a nice avatar. Oh my Lord, you really think so, Mr. Sanity? Like reorient my entire life and go to therapy because I get mad at a video game? No, I would just stop playing the game. Uh, yeah, somebody did tell him that. He's like, have you thought of going to therapy? It's like, it's a fucking video game. If you're having a problem with a video game, just stop playing it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, I'm like, you want to take drugs? Or, no, I. it's just a game. Yeah. You're joking? This isn't normal? Well, for me, it is. And, uh, like, I... I, I, I don't imagine have... going to therapy so you can continue playing a game. <laughs> That's like so funny. A... Suffer while working in game dev. I consider games a job a lot. Okay, well, you are different and I am different. For me, gaming is a bit of a job for me as well. Ellie, I have actually so much respect for streamers that deal with this kind of shit every day. They go through the most. It, it, well, for me, I'm not a big enough streamer, but yes, there's a lot of streamers that go through it. I have learned to be okay with it. In my chat, when I'm playing Elden Ring and stuff, I know that even some of the people that hang out in my chat on the daily, they all of a sudden, for some reason, feel the need to be negative during certain encounters, during certain things, but I kind of learned to get used to it. It comes with the territory. I, I don't have like a, a like an off switch. But there's some people who can't deal with it. Yeah, there's some people For who can't like deal with it. Upset. Like you would... seen the way a blue squadron, you know, the, the the hate that that guy got, and how like it gets under his skin. <laughs> I've been in blue squadrons streams when this man has gotten stream sniped, and people would decide to create new accounts to be toxic. Yeah, oh, I've seen it. I've I've been there though. I already learned. I already know how to deal with it. Therapist probably would say to drop the game anyways. That is true. Just get more and more and more mad, and I can't control that at all. And I think that playing games like this that are frustrating on stream brings out every negative aspect of my personality. Uh, like I'm uh, insecure. I'm angry. Yeah. I uh, am am like a uh, stubborn. Uh, like I, I'm not funny. Like it, everything about it, hard game is stressful. It is, and I get really you stressed know, out. You know what gets me more? I don't think I get as stressed or mad when people are negative about me in the game when they're like backseating me. I think I get more. It gets to my head more when there's stupid people in my chat. 
when there's people like um no offense if you guys are this people but when my title reads um when my title reads something like um Jin she comes out on the 27th and then somebody types in my chat when does Jin she comes out that is what gets to me that is what is annoying to me when there's stupidity not when people are trying to backseat me not when people are like oh my god ellie just jump oh my god why don't you do this ellie oh my god do that like that i don't give a fuck about that i'm so used to that by now that i tell you guys you can backseat me all you want but i i'm also at the liberty to ignore your backseating so if you're okay with that we're fine we can shake hands and we can, we're cool um but for me, it's the stupidity factor. I don't like stupid people. Uh, when does Adosa come out? <laughs> I do. I, I get really stressed out and I can't deal with it. And whether you say that's like me being bad or stupid or a loser or weak or anything, that doesn't change the reality that it's happening. And I can't make it stop. Like, I I've been doing this now, like, as I said before, I never, like, if I could go back, I would have never streamed Dark Souls. I would have never done it. Damn. Because I hate the way that makes me feel. What? No. Yeah, I'm serious. Like, I, I genuinely hate the way it I makes mean, yeah. me feel. I mean, yeah. Anyways, and um, I'm not going to watch the rest of this video chat, but um, here you go if you guys want to watch it. He talks about what it's like to be um, him as a streamer dealing with uh, games that are difficult, like Elden Ring and um how he's always had a trouble managing um his anger and his frustration reading chat and having to play these hard games if you guys want to read it there you um watch the rest of it um basically i just wanted to touch on that subject that it, it is i totally like understand what he is going through um, I guess I am very blessed and lucky that I don't get easily uh, triggered. It is really hard to trigger me. Really, really hard. And I think the things that trigger me are weird things that don't have anything to do with, like, what he goes through. See, like, I think if I was in his le level of fame... I definitely would be able to deal with the negativity a lot easier than he does. Because you know what I would do? I would just ignore chat. I would ignore chat. But I, I think a lot of things play into this. Um, the moment there is a negative comment in chat or something that makes you feel a certain type of way, um, it ruins your mood. I'll tell you, I'll give you an example of what ruins my mood. When I'm streaming and then somebody slides into my DMs while I'm streaming and says something negative, like, um, why are you always bullying me? Why me? Why me? This, that. That kills my mood, dude, of streaming. I feel like ending my stream, that pisses me off. It does so much to me. Or when somebody slides into my DM that they didn't find the joke funny and say something like, hey, why did you say this about this and on the stream? Oh my God, dude. That kind of shit like kills my everything. That it puts me in a sour mood. Now everything is micros uh, microscoped under the telescope. And that's how he might feel as well. The moment he reads something like, hey, why are you so shit at this game? Have you tried doing this? then everything is magnified. People who come into his chat and say, your teeth are ugly, your beard is patchy, you're bald, your shirt you wore it five days in a row, your house is disgusting. Everything that manifests in the back that you try to block off is magnified because of that one comment that, and, or five comments or 20,000 comments that people say is just magnified. It's really not that easy to be a, a, like a very popular streamer like Asman. And there's a lot of hate watchers, dude. There's a lot of people wanting to tear you down. Uh, anyways, chat, the whole Elden Ring thing 
Could Asman make the game easier for himself by getting more levels, by getting more things to make the easier game for himself, by getting um, a different weapon, a different build, by building endurance? Could he make the game easier for himself? Yes, he can. But if he does that, then he is no longer playing the game the way he wants to play it. Yeah, it, that just it, it, there. There's fun in playing the game the way you want to play, and the game, and then playing the game the way somebody else wants you to play the game. Even the devs said it would be a lot harder than the base game, and warned people to do that. Though, um, yeah, even the game developers, even the game developers came out and said. This is a suggestion to level up your scatter tree blessing. So they're basically telling you that if you want to have an easier time in the game, go and do this. But I think personally that that is a flaw still. If the developer has to come out and say something like that, I think I think there's something flawed there.